Hey Austin, we're gonna draw more Christmas food today. What are we gonna draw? Figgy pudding. Yeah, figgy pudding. Funny figgy pudding. Yes. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're gonna use markers. You also need something to draw on. Some paper and... Something to color with. Something to color with. You ready to start? Yeah. All right. We're first gonna draw holly on top of our figgy pudding. We're gonna draw a circle in the middle of our paper, but kind of towards the top so that we have room for the pudding below. And the funny thing about figgy pudding is I thought it was like pudding or yogurt, <laughs> yeah. but it's more like a cake. So now we're gonna draw another circle right next to it, but I'm gonna only draw part of it because we're using overlapping. Okay. Yeah, and then we're gonna add another one on top. Three little berries. Now we're gonna draw the leaf. We're gonna draw one line that comes out to the side and we'll draw another line that comes out to the other side. Good job. Then we're gonna draw a little arrow on the end and I'm curving the arrow. Is that, can you see how it's curved? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now on the top, we're gonna draw a U shape. Then we're gonna connect it into the berry. Now we're gonna do the same thing down here, but we're gonna draw an upside down U and then connect it in. There we go. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Draw that curved arrow. Yes. And then we're going to draw a U shape on the top and then connect it into the berry. And then we'll draw an upside down U on the bottom and connect it in. Let's add one more leaf. We'll draw it off kind of off to the side. So I'm going to curve to the right. Then we're going to do the same. We'll repeat all the same steps. Draw a curved arrow at the top. There you go. Then we're gonna draw a sideways U and then connect it in. And another sideways U going the other direction and then connect that one in. We did it, there's our holly. Yeah. Now let's draw the pudding. We're gonna draw a curved line. We're gonna come out of the leaf right here and we're gonna curve down. Now we're using overlapping since the holly is on top of our pudding. Now we're gonna draw another curve. I'm gonna imagine this going behind and coming out on the other side. I like how tall your pudding is gonna be. Thanks. Figgy pudding. Yeah, now down at the bottom, we're gonna curve to connect these two lines to make it look 3D. It's gonna be on the ground. Yeah, well, we're gonna, <clears throat> let's put it on a plate instead yeah. of on the ground. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes out like this. Look at this, I'm matching the curve at the bottom of the the bottom of the figgy pudding. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Now it's sitting on a plate. <laughs> Next, we're gonna draw the delicious sauce on top. We're gonna draw a wavy line. Now I'm gonna draw wavy lines that don't go all the way down because we wanna leave room for the funny face that we're gonna draw. Yeah. Yeah, now we're gonna draw the funny face. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you gotta do a different funny face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna draw a circle for one eye and another circle for the other eye over here. <laughs> oh, our hair. I like those over here. Our hair. I like the <laughs> I like those big eyes. Then inside, I'm gonna draw another circle <laughs> that's smaller. <laughs> and then inside of that, we could draw even a smaller circle in the top right of that eye or that the pupil. And this is for the highlight. Let's color in that medium, the middle circle leave the really small one white. Now let's draw the mouth. I'm gonna draw a big smile, well, a smile, it's, I guess it's not too big yet. And then I'm gonna draw a big smile coming down. <laughs> yeah, and you can go all the way back up. I'm gonna do that too, I'll change it. And then down here at the bottom, let's add teeth. I'm gonna add a little curve at the bottom and also a curve up at the top. Next, let's draw a little tongue an upside down U inside. There you go. And then let's color in that middle shape. All right, Austin, we did it. We finished drawing our figgy pudding, except we're not completely done. What do we still need to do? Color it. Yeah, we need to color it. This part, we're gonna fast forward again, but at the end, you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah.
Austin, we did it. Great job on coloring your figgy pudding. It looks perfect and looks really tasty. He actually looks like he's singing. Maybe he's singing, we wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. We use markers, but you guys can use whatever you have at home or in your classroom. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your figgy pudding. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than our drawings. Both of our drawings look different. Yours is a little smaller and mine's kind of bigger. Yeah. But that's okay because they both turned out awesome. I'm sure their drawings turned out awesome too. The most important thing is to have fun. Have fun and to practice. Practice. And we also want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.